man, you're making too much money. You're ripping these people off, using this cheap labor. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hey, hope y'all having a great day whenever you watch this. It's not a great day right this second because it's early. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, but, at least it's not cold. 69 degrees out. <sighs> I need to get out and get the water in the cooler and a couple of small things. Guy's supposed to be here at 6. Uh, so... Elroy's supposed to be here today. Um, I'm guessing he will be. So, hadn't heard from him. Or I hadn't really hadn't checked my phone. I don't guess I've heard from him. So, uh, anyway, get out and get this stuff ready. We're going to get going. Got a pretty big list again today. Actually, Tuesday's probably our biggest day. So, anyway. I'll try to get out and get it done. Uh, let me get off here, get everything ready. Check back with y'all. All right, let's see. It is uh, 8.04. We're about to finish up number three for the morning. And we done drove almost 30 miles. They got just a little bit to finish right there. We done already blew everything off. Hopefully they don't make a mess coming back up with the mowers. But uh, got ill rope with his old gator tag. Go Knowles! <laughs> Ah, uh, anyway, we are, we rolling along good today, man. Rolling along good, got, go back to town and get uh, two small ones and a medium. Going back through, um, let's see. Then we got to go do a trailer park. Well, the trailer park and the other one's probably about four acres together, the trailer park and the farm. And then we got to go do, let's see here, one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know, man, we got a bunch of them. I don't even know what's on the schedule today. Let me, let me look and see what's on the schedule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen on the schedule. And Elro's just driving. I don't know that he'll make it all day. Uh, this is kind of his first day back. He just wanted to test the water. So told him, you know, come on and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So uh, towards the end of the day, last time he cut with us. Uh, I think around about half a day. In fact, I think it was, I think that trailer park and that farm out there riding for an hour and a half, I think that kind of, kind of got the best of him. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to kind of see how it goes. So we don't want him to overdo it. Uh, rather than be able to work some half days than, you know, not work at all. So anyway, let me help these guys get this stuff loaded up get out of here all right you two posse no footage uh but I, I didn't get a chance uh it's like 7 30 now so man i've had all kind of run around to do been one of them days uh anyway it's all good i'm down here at shop now i started sharpening some sharpening some blades earlier but uh my wife got sick today. I had to go pick her up from the school and bring her home. And then I had to get my my oldest daughter came and picked me up, took me back to get her vehicle. So I'm back down here at the shop now trying to get some stuff done. Um, anyway, we had a good day today. Elro worked, uh, Elro worked about five hours, five and a half, I think, or five and three quarter. I don't know. Uh, and then his legs started bothering him. Uh which was fine. We got everything done. Me and Z-Man finished up at uh, 3.30 today. Um, so, had a really good day. I think revenue-wise was, uh, 
about fourteen hundred dollars. And uh, just to clarify something, um, when I talk about money, <laughs> uh, you know, and I say we had a good day or whatever, and nobody said this, uh, but this channel here is to help people um, humor and really just show you a day in our life. Uh, that's why it's a lot of talking. It's not a lot of mowing. Uh, I mean, we have an overgrown property or something. I try to get some footage. But the truth of the matter is, I don't watch mowing videos. I don't even watch the overgrown property videos. I know a lot of people love that stuff. But, um, I mean, if I watch a mowing video, it's going to be somebody laying down some stripes. And it's going to be a short video. Like, you know, like a reel. <laughs> um, so, you know, I just kind of share life on here. And, of course, I share some personal stuff on here. But... The reason I'm saying I'll say this, the numbers is is not to brag or boast. Man, we've been blessed. Uh, is really is really the intent is uh you know to kind of help. Um now the market where you live, some people look at my numbers and they go, huh, we had about twenty five hours in total today. That's that's start to finish driving, that's everything. Um you know, and we had a good mix of properties today. We had small properties and large properties. Um, and the grass is not growing. It's dry here. We need some rain. Um, so, you know, it, it's really, some people might look at it and say, oh, two guys are to do $1,400 in eight hours. Well, you know, maybe where you live at in your market, hopefully you can do that, you know. But if you can do that, the cost of living there is probably <laughs> a lot different than the cost of living here. Uh, on the other side of that, you might be in a situation where you say, well, man, we, we work three guys and we only make, we only grossed a thousand dollars. Okay. Um, again, cost of living where you at might be less than where I'm at. Uh, your cost of living where you live and what people willing to pay is going to dictate a lot. Now I know some people say, you know, Hey, uh, I ain't going to do something for less than this. And I say that, but it's based on the market I live in. Um, you can't charge a hundred dollars here for half acre yards, you know, and some places you can't charge, but $40 for half acre yards. It depends on, again, it depends on the market. It depends on the amount of competition. I mean, there's a lot of things that go into that. Uh, and our market here, even though we get plenty of business, um, it's still, it's pretty saturated with lawn care guys. Um, but I'm fortunate enough to be in a place where, you know, I don't care if I don't work but two days a week, <laughs> you know, I mean, <clears throat> because I got another job. If I didn't have another job like last year, now last year, we worked every day, you know, but that was my sole income, so I needed to make money. I didn't know what I was going to do in the winter, so I had to put away enough money to get through the winter and all that kind of stuff, so... Um, you know, so anyway, I shared the numbers to help. So I think today, I think what it came out to be was like $56 an hour. Uh, or with three people, um, that would be like, I guess, $168 an hour uh, or something like that. So, um, and really and truly, as long as I'm hitting, uh, you know, um, Probably, probably 140 is is okay. Uh, you know, you don't really want to get too much below that threshold because we, it, with three guys out there, because when you start thinking you got to figure twenty dollars an hour per guy, uh, and that's and that's if you only pay in say fourteen or fifteen. By the time you figure workers comp and and taxes and all that kind of stuff, I mean you can tax whatever you pay in them. You could put five dollars an hour on top of that. I can almost probably promise you that. So, you know, um, and then the rest you got gas, you got your insurance, overhead. Uh, you know, like me, I still got, uh, I still got two mowers I'm paying on. I got two trucks. <laughs> you know, um, so now I don't have to have all this, but you know. I want it, so I got it. <laughs>
but uh anyway i gotta get in here and sharpen some blades uh this video is not gonna go out till uh man these yellow flies are crazy down here this video is not gonna go out till wednesday it's tuesday here um but it's already so late i'm not gonna put it up tonight but uh anyway got my old american sharpener in here and uh, as you can see a couple of sets ready to go um, go ahead and put them on the mower go ahead and get some more sharpened up and uh, be ready to go all right so um i told y'all it was six o'clock now it is 9 17. new blades greased new throttle cable i still need to change out one of the tires on this one sharp blades oil topped off all that good stuff sharp blades oil topped off <sighs> see so you know the deal is a lot of times people think you know we're talking about oh well, we go out and we make three-man crew we gonna make 140 dollars an hour you know 140 160 dollars an hour well <laughs> You, like I said, you got $60 of labor out of that, right? And the other thing to that is, what about all these hours? All these hours, sharpening blades, all these hours doing maintenance, right? All that's got to be accounted for, for your equipment to operate and do what it's supposed to do. So, we can got to push more in here, man. So, yeah, you got everything down here but the X1. Uh, X1 is at the house. Um, try and get around here where the light's better. X1's at the house. I've just been leaving it up there cutting the grass there. We really don't take it unless, uh, well, it's kind of a backup for the Super Z. But since we haven't had Elro, uh, we just, you know, it don't really matter. But uh, we got throttle cable back on that one. Excited about that. I love that mower. I love that mower right there. So you're going to see some footage of it out for too long. Anyway, let me get back and close this video. So, hey, appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope, hope it helped somebody. And my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.